Welcome to Torsta. I'm Pina Gree. As a time-traveling, super-dimensional magical girl, I've been many places. I've seen the shapeless colors that are outside and the glittering shores of Neptune. But the hardest place for me has always been a small planet near the star Sol. Let's have a look at some of the challenges I'm facing in my meat space life. Let's go! Hello, Dorsta. I had a very big day today. I'm on break right now. We had a pretty bad incident, and it looked like somebody might have gotten arrested, but it ended up turning out much better than it seemed like it was going to. So t I work all night, and then in the morning, I have to go to the new employer for my orientation. I do that for a few hours, and then I come back to work the next day in the evening. So maybe I'll have three hours to myself to get some sleep, um, and I won't even be able to go home. So that brings me to my topic, is that uh, U.S. employers are almost all black companies, um, maybe even worse. They, especially on this coast, the West Coast, they're very um, needy with time. If you can imagine, if you donate money to a charity, and that charity knows who you are, they will always come back to you and say, would you please donate money? Can you open your heart? Blah, 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 blah. The company here will do that in the same way. There's pretty much no respect for people's personal time, no sense of boundaries, and they use all of the psychological tricks that they can do to try to make it personal, to try to give people guilt. It's very, it's very difficult. And you see, everything takes a lot of time as well. Time is something that I don't have particularly to give to a company after my normal work hours. I have to take care of myself during those hours. All of my time is spent recovering or trying to get ready for the next week. And that makes getting government help very difficult. There might be some program available to me to, say, get housing assistance or some kind of food or work counseling to find a job or something, but I don't have time to track it down. I'm a little lucky because I have a car and some money and resources, but if I were, like, completely destitute, you know, just with my clothes on the street, I would... it. I have to go a couple of miles. I have to risk riding the buses without paying, getting in trouble or arrested for that. Then I, while I'm doing that, I'm not finding resources to take care of myself. I'm not securing myself shelter for the night or food. You know, I'm probably going to have to fast the whole time and I'm walking everywhere. And you can't just walk places and not eat anything. And of course, they're not going to have a sandwich waiting for me at the government office, if I can even be seen that day. And then COVID makes everything more difficult. So these are some of the troubles that uh, homeless people face. But I feel like I've done some good work today. So I'll do my best tomorrow as well. I'm off work now, and in a little bit, I have to go to orientation. I'll get some sleep, but first, time for my evening drink. Mm. I miss beer. I can't have beer in the spaceship, though. I am very, very, very tired. I had new hire orientation at the company I'm moving to all day long. I've had maybe a total of two hours of sleep, and it hasn't been all together in one bunch. They let me sleep on my break at the new hire orientation. Remember what I said about companies being very greedy with the time of the employees? That happened today. The company that I'm leaving uh, scheduled me for extra time and didn't give me anybody to relieve me at the post, and that means I can't go, even though I, I am not supposed to be there. Basically, with the way the laws work in the United States, even though they were wrong to not inform me and I am within my rights to leave the post. If I leave my position, then they will remove me from the company, and uh, I will have to go on unemployment benefits, and I don't even think I'm qualified. This is one of the many ways that um, employees and workers in the United States are very strongly disadvantaged. Basically, even though they're technically in the wrong, there's nothing that can be done about it from my point of view. But the bosses, uh, the, on this side of the week helped me out and got me home. But now look at the mess this is made. I have stuff that I need to do tomorrow to take care of myself, to get myself out of the situation, and I'm lost sleep. I need I need to time to recover so that I can think. I'm running at about 
2% brain power. No, probably 20% brain power, but that's probably like two bananas worth of thinking at this moment. And they don't even have their peels on. I need to get inside, get washed up, get to bed. It's important to stay hydrated. But of course, you guys already knew that. Having a job is not the only solution. It's easy to have a job and when you already have everything set up for yourself, but getting everything set up for yourself and trying to work a job is like having two jobs. And here at Pinot Gris in the meat space world, I guess that's me, is basically working three jobs. One for the old company, one for the new company, and one for herself. It's too much work for one day, even for a time traveler. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!